All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem here to give you a scout report on the FBS all time leader in receptions, Isaiah Zay Jones from Eastern Car East Carolina. Definitely had a great season this past year 158 receptions for 17 over 1,700 yards and 11 scores. And he was actually one of the final candidates for the Fred Belitnikoff Award given to the nation's top wide receiver. D.D. Westbrook of OU, Oklahoma, won the award. Now, coming out of high school, he wasn't really heavily recruited, despite he was the son of former Cowboy wide receiver Robert Jones. And Robert Jones did actually make it to the Pro Bowl, by the way. He was actually only recruited and received scholarship offers from two FBS schools, and one of them was from East Carolina, thanks to his father sending out information and, and, and sending out the tapes of his son to East Carolina. Carolina, his alma mater and he actually showed some good promise as a fresh true freshman with 62 receptions for 604 yards and five scores in 2013 2014 the numbers did go up and he was second on the team with 81 receptions for 830 yards 2015 he actually emerged as the number one true number one wide receiver in which he received second team all a conference honors with 1099 yards receiving now it's time for me to talk about his strengths and weaknesses first his strengths he is a sound route runner and he doesn't he doesn't have elite stop start quickness but does work hard to sell and square off his patterns which is a good thing and he did display more skills at the senior bowl game in which he had some great catches even though those catches were called back due to penalties on the offense which was a which was a little bit of bad news for this for the game for his team but good news for him because he had a great game as far as those catches and um he always is working on to get open he has a good high football um, IQ which I do like about him as well he has reliable he's a reliable pass catcher uses his hands to attack the football and he does um reach the football at the highest point to get to the football I do like that about him he has that good football IQ like I said and it's really all about what you have up here upstairs he has he's a steadfast blocker and he's not shy to throwing his body around and I think this is a good thing about him it shows that he's a good um, team player he was a senior captain and because of all the good numbers, he did average just 11 yards per or per reception. So it shows that he's more of a short yardage type wide receiver, more of a possession wide receiver, which is a little bit of a weakness because because of his size at six foot two, 215 pounds. Actually, I'm sorry, six foot one, 197 pounds. Um, I would kind of was hoping he was a little bit more of. Uh, more of a deep ball threat because of his receptions, but I do understand he's more of a possession wide receiver. I see him as a solid number two receiver for any team. I don't really see too much potential of him being the number one target, but I do see him as a good possession type wide receiver, still capable of making it to the Pro Bowl. Now, I think that this is going to be a third round pick for the, um, this year's draft at worst. I do possibly see him as a second round pick, but I think the worst will be third round, and I think the right round is the third round for this year's draft I think this is going to be a good selection in in that round now the next time I catch you guys will hopefully be hopefully will be later on this week in which I will give you more scout reports I'm going to start leaning towards the offensive line starting with the offensive tackles thank you for watching all of today's blogs I'm your man Akeem McCall be easy